Hi, Canastota. I'm Sean Besetta, superintendent of Canastota Central Schools, and this is the weekly video update for Friday, June 4th. Uh, we're definitely in the home stretch of the 2020-21 school year as um, this week the calendar turned to June. As we approach several end of year ceremonies, I wanted to clarify for everyone the rules that uh, school districts still need to live under. Uh, in the past few weeks, COVID restrictions have dramatically uh, uh, shifted in many parts of society. With 130,000 plus people at the Indy 500 and packed crowds at Madison Square Garden for NBA playoff games. People naturally assume that schools can do the same thing. Uh, in fact, Syracuse.com earlier today put out a great editorial board article um, outlining all of the ways that schools are held to a much different and higher standard than most of the rest of society as we uh, adjust out of the, co the uh, prevalent COVID restrictions. I get it. I understand that families would like to be able to attend in-person ceremonies at school. However, schools still are held to an entirely different standard than when attending uh, a game or a concert or going into a grocery store. In fact, the last time uh, that the state issued guidance specific for schools was back on April 27th, which was before this loosening of rules we've seen in recent weeks. So please understand that we're not avoiding bringing families into school to celebrate end of year events with us. It's just impossible in many cases to do this on the scale that, we, that we'd like or you'd like to happen. For example, adults still need to be spaced out six feet and masked while in, in a school. With the current restrictions in place, we would not even be able to have one elementary classroom, for example, with uh, their parents fit in the auditorium. That's why several of our events have been uh, designed to allow students to be in the room to celebrate with their classmates uh, together. But unlike last year, um, when we were virtual for just about every uh, end of year event, but it's simply impossible to have as many people in attendance as we'd like to have. Just this afternoon, word started spreading that masks were no longer going to be required in schools as of Monday, June 7th. This was based on the fact that the New York State Health Commissioner wrote a letter to the CDC director asking for clarification on the acceptability of his plan for relaxing masking requirements in schools and in camps. That's it, unfortunately. In order for schools to change the mask mandate, we need to receive explicit direction from the State Education Department and or the Department of Health in writing. So as you know, things change fast, but as of late Friday afternoon, there had been no formal announcement in writing of any of these changes. Just this letter um, from the state health commissioner to the CDC director. So what does this mean for us? Uh, unless something comes out over the weekend formally reversing the current rules, anyone on school grounds will be required to wear masks on Monday. If something changes in an official way, if we do in fact get more specific guidance that says that in fact masks are no longer required in schools in New York State, we'll put out another announcement. It's unfortunately uh, unfortunate that this horribly poor messaging uh, coming out to schools and families from the state uh, level has caused so much confusion on this issue. So I apologize for the confusion. Unfortunately, on this issue in particular, Canasota Central Schools does not make the rules, but we are expected to abide by them. So again, hopefully we'll get some more clarification, but as of now, um, students and staff and anybody on school grounds um, will still be uh, required to wear a mask unless, again, uh, new guidance comes out. And, and if that's the case, we will issue uh, new clarification on that guidance. Moving on to uh, a bit of a more positive subject. Um, we are pleased that we are moving ahead this coming Monday with our on-site vaccination cl clinic for students who are interested, uh, who are age 12 and up. Um, in partnership with Kinney Drugs, uh, we're pleased that we're able to um, host this convenient way for families who are interested in getting their child vaccinated who's 12 and up, they can participate in our on-site uh, vaccination clinic on Monday. Again, uh, we appreciate the partnership with Kinney Drugs um, 
first shot clinic is Monday, um, June 7th. The second clinic is scheduled for Monday, June 28th. And on a final note, I just wanted to uh, mention that we are moving full speed ahead in our capital project. I had intended to give you a little bit more of an extensive detailed uh, update on the project, but because, but because once again, we spend so much time on COVID related issues, I'll cut, cut it short. Um, hopefully next week, uh, I can spend a little bit more time showing you some pictures and, and talking about what's coming up with the plan. I do wanna point out one thing um, that much of what we're going to be talking about in our updates really centers around uh, things related to health and safety in the district. As much as there's, we have a lot of excitement about the fact that our fields are being re renovated, and that's a very visible thing that's happening now, um, again, it's important to remember that the cornerstone of our project, really the heart of this project, was built around infrastructure, uh, maintenance and improvement, efficiency uh, uh, improvements, in health and safety upgrades, things like point of entry um, safety measures um, that will um, that will be um, will be a tremendous uh, benefit to the safety in each of our buildings is something that we're really pleased uh, with. Um, and there are a number of of, of other um, upgrades that we're going to be mentioning to you in the next few weeks. So um, exciting news and much more to come on that. Uh, but on that note, hope everyone has a great uh, weekend. Looks like the weather's going to be warm and, and uh, really summer-like, so hopefully everybody has a chance to get out there and, and, uh, and enjoy the weekend. Um, and have a great weekend, and go Raiders.